It's a wild time. It's a wild time with Casey, you know? It's just, it's wild shit, so I don't know where we're gonna don't go. Don't you guys love Casey? Can we talk about how wonderful he is? Can we please? I will tell you, I just, I just think he is like the coolest dude. He's fucking cool. He's a fucking cool guy. Very much so. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's real. It's real. You're just, well. You know what? You're pretty I know, badass. pretty fucking cool <laughs> myself. Um, Casey's got a Gemini mind, and I fucking love, he's also like flaky Gemini, which I'm used to, so it's fine, but he is, and it's fucking adorable. Don't make plans with me. No, no, don't, <laughs> don't. He's like, he's, he is like textbook Gemini, you guys. I mean, fucking textbook. Like, what time is it? Does time mean anything? Probably not. Am I 20 minutes late? Doesn't matter? No. I mean, that's just kind of the Gemini deal. Hi, Lanat. Welcome Hello. over from Instagram. How did you like that shit show? That was fun. Um, were but you guys talking about remote viewing? We're talking about remote viewing. Yeah, we're talking about remote viewing because I've only ever witnessed it once. And the guy, so the guy was saying, yeah, there's this, there's a bunch of pictures in this room, and he was right. Um, and then he said, oh, it's near the water, and he was right. Um, but that was about it. I didn't find it very impressive, just firsthand experience. Mm. I was like, okay, but there was no detail. Mm. There was no fucking. Um, there was not a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. Have there's been a lot of... It's been uh, a total shit show. <laughs> remote viewing claims. Right. Well, that they're seeing, like, aliens and shit, well, right? Well, there's... Yeah, there's people who have, like, remote viewed or whatever aliens. But there was actually... Uh, there was... Um, <laughs> uh, in, at Stanford, I forget the guy's name, but there was, like... A, they had, like, a team of remote viewers. Yes. And supposedly... Obviously, at the time, it was Cold War time, so Russia did too. And supposedly, like, they would be battling yes. each other, remote viewing. Yes, did we hear when, the same like, podcast? Well, yeah, it's definitely, we've heard the same shit. Yeah. But they'd be battling each other, like, when they'd be doing their address, or any time the president would be speaking, they'd be they'd try to remote view him yep. to say something stupid. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so no, that's legit. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard all that. It, I don't, I don't know. know if it's real. Yeah, I, I don't mean, know. I mean, there is proof that they were, there was a government uh, program. So, I mean. I mean, there was for sure a government program. That's like, I watched this whole, <clears throat> um, so I'm a big fan of Top 5. I don't know if you watch Top 5. Mm -mm. Wait, go back to Mick and Gucci having body doubles. Oh, girl, we could talk about, we could talk about the body doubles. Um, <laughs> we're just going to be jumping mm -hmm. all around. Does anyone know about Michael Robinson? It's just one of the, it's just like, it's the most ridiculous theory I've ever heard. It really is. It's just so ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Well, if you want to hear a crazier one, oh, we, could boy. we could talk about how Hillary Clinton is the whore of Babylon. But you mean like the actual whore of Babylon? Like she, she's like the reincarnation of the whore? That's out there. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That and is that, amazing. Okay, you want to get this is funny, dude. This is hella funny. But dude, this is a trip. This is hella funny. Okay. So, uh uh L. Ron Hubbard. So, we all Wait, know, wait. Uh, it's associated with L. Ron Hubbard too. This is you yes. guys. This is why we love it. I, I, I So, uh, this information is from um it's a woman called Tracy Twyman. Oh, I've never heard of her. So L. Ron Hubbard, um, there, so in Arkansas back in the day, there, uh, one of the, I forget, man, I forget this fucker's name, but he was like a, a senator okay. or, or a judge or some shit. Okay. This guy, I forget his name. If Paul pulls it up on the thing, it'll, it'll say. He, he looks exactly like L. Ron Hubbard. Okay? Oh, God. And so, supposedly, like, Hillary and him oh my are, God. had 
their kids. Oh know? my god, this is fucking awesome. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> but also how she was conceived, and that is supposedly like a rumor that is going ha oh is going on. Oh my god. And, but also she gets deeper on this and says uh she was conceived so during all the um all the uh big fucking nuclear bomb tests oh, when fuck. they were were um doing all that they put <laughs> this is great i fucking live for this check this one out so um uh, so even so a little more backstory so l ron hubbard would was um jack parsons if anyone knows that name he was uh one of the main guys at the livermore uh oh Lib yeah livermore lab right yeah. yeah 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 and so he and and him and l ron hubbard were they were they, were like they worked together okay okay so there's that connection and casey, jack she's francis casey you're the best thank you Fran. <laughs> um and Jack Parsons is known for, he was um, not only like developing all this shit for all that, he was doing like dark art shit. That's what? Known. What do you mean? Like fucking like <laughs> black magic and shit? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, like that's. You probably uh, like fucking Crowley. Yeah, no, for sure. No, he was, he's affiliated with them. Fully into Aleister Crowley and shit, dude. He was I believe doing, it. Uh, we'll have to get Paul to pull that up. But um, he was doing hella shit, so there's uh, just weird connections with that. So anyway, so suppose so. That's how I was tying him in Jack Parsons, right. L. Ron He's, Hubbard. He knows L. Ron the, Hubbard. Uh, nuclear, okay. all the nuclear testing. Right. They right. were all yes. in on it. Okay. So this embryo that they had oh inseminated, <laughs> they put inside the uh, like oh the God. first. Nuclear bomb test. I forget the name of it. It's like a name. If I said it, everyone would know in the back of their head. So, oh, it was what? Bikini. Was it Bikini Island? No. Well, the name of like the actual bomb or whatever. Oh, I, I forget well, the name Gay. of the test. Enola Gay. Trinity. No. No. Trinity. 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 Inside the Trinity bomb test, they put an inseminated embryo. And it's Hillary Clinton. Yeah, so when they set, when that, that went off, boom, that embryo survived. And that embryo is the reincarnation of the, the horror battle, Babylon. who is... Hillary Clinton! <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, so is like Aaron Hubbard her father? No, it's her husband, or it's the, uh, well... It's the, it's the, uh, he's the sperm donor? Did he inse did Elvin Hubbard inseminate no, the embryo? He is the father of the Chelsea and uh, oh. the other one. No, there's only one. Chelsea. Yeah, just Chelsea. And I'm not going to lie. There's pictures out there of this guy I'm talking about. I forget his name. Paul, you need to be faster. I couldn't, I couldn't find it. At the at what? The horror the look up the horror of Babylon, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, just Google that. But anyways, that. That won't put you on a list or so anything. If you put L. Ron Hubbard's Wait, face Chelsea next Clinton to next, this no, guy. My no, listen, oh my God. Oh my God. Next to this guy, they look exactly the same. And when you put this guy's face next to Hillary's, they look, Chelsea no, looks Chelsea, exactly, exactly like oh, them to shit. over them. It's just like. I, I mean, it's funny do you guys shit. love this? No, no, it requires alcohol. It does. It do, otherwise it just that sounds is like, like it's a crazy town. That's about as deep weird a But people believe it, get. right? Like it's there are people that are like, yeah, of course there was an inseminated embryo that went in the nuclear test that ended up being the this, reincarnated horror of Babylon. Like yeah, people believe it. This woman, I've heard her talk about it on radio That's shows. That's batshit. And I've read her articles about it. And she, what's her name? Tracy? Tracy Twyman. Tracy Twyman, y'all. Okay. Uh, let's not forget you did promise the patrons at some point you would show nipple. I'm just saying, don't do it now. But they're just, just that you promised it. I don't say, you don't, have to, tell keep, me you don't when. have to keep your promise, though. Tell me when they go. It's been, a, for those of you who don't know, Casey Watson is an incredibly gifted musician. He is an amazing lyricist. He is in a band with my husband. The band is called The Old From Casuals. Um, Paul and Casey are here tonight. The other two Old From Casuals aren't because we didn't invite them. Uh, <laughs> tonight was invite only. It was invite only and uh, Lars and
and Gabe didn't didn't get the invite. And Paul's only here because he lives here. He lives here. here. <laughs> amazing. Old from Casuals is amazing. And if you haven't checked it out, do it. If you like rock and roll, it's not really a punk album. The new album is not a punk album. I mean, let's like, was the other yeah. stuff? Are we considering the other shit punk? I don't know. You would know better no, than I would. I never really. I did. never really did. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, but I'm like. Old I school. just yeah. I don't know. Punk to me is the Ramones. Like that's yeah. punk. You know what I mean? Like that's just pure fucking. Yeah, punk is like simple. Yeah, and I feel like no. you guys were never really that. No. But this me latest either. album is like, how do we describe this? Um, it is like ACDC and Motorhead had a baby. Cross-dressed. <laughs> I mean, had a baby. Motorhead cross-dressed cross with ACDC. <laughs> it's real though. Well, there's something weird about oh. the house you live in now. No, the house I live in now is uh, nothing. Oh, no, there's something weird. So weird energy around well, that house, man. I, I hate to tell you. Well, uh, you can let me know about it's that. It's not a ghost. It's not a ghost, mm. but I think it's your neighbors. Hmm. Yeah, it could, I could be. Like could be. I mean, that area of Oakland is... Not the best. There's uh, dark vibes there for a long time, you know? Yeah. Where I live, like, I, I used... I mean, I've been in Oakland a long time. I've probably been there like seven years, but like uh, 15 years ago, riding through that, just going through there. I was can't like, imagine it. Eyes, like a war zone, right? Eyes on all the, on right, all on the, around. Right, right. I and can't then, imagine like, it. Seven years ago, I move in there, I'm walking my dogs around the neighborhood, you know, like, Dude. what the hell, <laughs> you know? I mean, you guys, I, yeah. like, I'm going to be real, like, Casey looks like a scary fucking dude. Like, he looks like a scary fucking guy. Like, I, will, I was actually telling my friend this the other day. We're probably not going to talk about aliens. But uh, <laughs> I was telling my friend this yesterday because um, I was telling her. We were talking about how, and ladies, you will get this. Um, getting into a lift alone is, like, the scariest goddamn thing ever. Like, I don't know if you feel this, but um, as a female, getting into a lift by myself I'm always like, okay, is he going to murder me? Is he going to rape me? Is he going to kidnap me? Like, that is the first thing I fucking think of. Like, every fucking time, right? It's no, fucking horrifying. It's fucking I horrifying. Know. I already know. And, like, so, um, Olfram was playing in Texas. And I, <laughs> this is fucked up. Me and Casey smoked the Bible. We smoked the Bible yeah, that night. Yeah, we did. We fucking, we, this is fucked up. Um, they played their show. It was amazing. Yeah, they can drive off with you, exactly. Um, but they played their show, and then I went and hung out with the dudes for a while, and, like, I can't smoke once because I get really, like, I project, I am like the exorcist. I projectile vomit everywhere. <laughs> so all he had was, was blunts. Was spinning? Uh, straight up, dude. All he had was blunts, and I was like, fuck, I can't smoke blunts, but I really want to smoke. Like, what are we going to do? Da, da, da. Yes, occasionally, y'all, I hate to tell you, auntie smokes weed. I hate to tell you. With no sticker on the car. No, I wouldn't get in the car either. Mm -mm, no. Hell no. So hey, put on the sticker, motherfucker. Right. So yeah. we fucking so <laughs> label yourself. Usually, you fucking shitty driver. It's legal. Bag. I know it's legal. Um, usually, like in the front page of a Bible, there's like that really thin sheet of paper, but um, it wasn't there. So we were like, what are we going to do? We're in a hotel. There's the Bible. The Gideons left it. It wasn't the best hotel. It, well, it was awful. And so we ended up smoking the <laughs> Psalms. Well, you picked out. I did. Yeah. Because he, Casey was like, whatever. I'm like, no, no, no. We can't smoke anything from fucking yeah. Revelations. Like, we have to smoke some good juju. You gotta so pick I, it. I fucking found the Psalms. We smoked the Psalms. We're hanging out, whatever. I'm like, I gotta go back to my hotel because y'all, Auntie had a very nice hotel yes. on the other side of Houston. <laughs> they were in an absolute shithole. Yeah. And I have to say. Hello, uh, Robin. Yeah. That, those, uh, we smoked two at least. And yeah. both of them were smoked great out of the Bible paper. Actually, the Bible paper wasn't bad. It was just like a, yeah. It wasn't bad. No, it was. It really wasn't. It was not bad at all. So we smoked the I songs. I was shocked, actually. Yeah. Actually, I was too, because I was like, this is <laughs> not. Because usually, I mean, when I was a kid, and we're trying to smoke weed at somebody's house, but nobody has papers, yeah. you take a little piece off, that little thin piece of the Bible, because mm. all I know are Catholics. So everybody had Bibles in the house. So by the time we were out of high school, that whole little thin sheet of paper on the in the mm -hmm. front of the Bible, fucking gone because we smoked it. We smoked yeah. it straight up, but they didn't have it, so we smoked I, the Psalms. Yeah, and I think the weed back then was a lot different than it is now. It probably the weed probably just smelled so shitty. 
I don't know. I was so shocked. I don't know. No, that was yeah, that that was... down smooth as shit. Yeah. yeah. I was Hi, shocked. Rebecca. Yes, we are live, my love. Um, so I'm leaving. I'm going back to my sw my swanky hotel, my very nice hotel from their shithole. And I was like, I was like, you guys. And I'm like high as shit. And I'm telling everybody. So it was Casey, my husband, and Gabe. And I was like, Gabe's the other guy in the band. You may never meet him. But can I just tell you guys, he's fucking beautiful. He's the most gorgeous man I've ever seen. He's in my H, life. is it? It's ridiculous. H A F. He, dude. And he doesn't age. He's 45. He looks fucking 19. He's some kind of a fucking vampire. I have repeatedly asked him for his beauty secrets. He won't fucking tell me, but I will find a picture for you guys. He's just, he's just beautiful. <laughs> he um, is. He really is. He's, yeah, he really him. is. He's beautiful, dude. But so I'm Whoa. telling him, I was like, you Whoa. guys, you, I was like, you guys, like, I'm like afraid to get in my lift. I'm afraid my lift driver is a rapist. I am afraid every time I get in a lift uh. that my lift driver is a rapist. So they decide to walk me out to the fucking car. I'm telling my friend this day. So these fuckers walk me out to the fucking car. This motherfucker, he's very tall, by the way. You can't tell from, because we're sitting, but he's very tall. And like this poor little guy, like the man was older. <laughs> Clearly not a rapist. And still fucking Casey fucking gets up in the car. He's like me mug in the car. He's like looking in the car. You're taking her, taking her hotel, right? You don't remember this, do you? Do you remember this? He was like oh, taking her to the hotel, right? That. And the other that. and the other two are standing behind him like this, and I'm like, there is nothing is gonna happen to me tonight. I do remember. That. I was like, this is the only time in my life I will feel safe taking a lift somewhere. So um, I do want to talk about aliens. Before I get into Bob Lazar, uh, I got it. I got it. I want to run this past you. Okay. As as a as a doctor, as a lawyer, mm -hmm. you're a lawyer now. I just this is Casey yeah. Watson Esquire. <laughs> If you need help, <laughs> call you one, eight, one eight hundred Doctor Watson. <laughs> he's he's a doctor. He's a lawyer. He's he's a musician. Are you, uh, have you been exposed to mesothelioma? <laughs> <laughs> if you have, do not call me because I it's know what not, the fuck that a, shit is. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that shit is either. Uh, even you buy a wrench. There's something on here right. that can cause cancer. Like what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna hold right. this thing, I'm gonna get fingertip right. cancer. <laughs> Fingernails are just gonna fall off. Like, um, Wait, there was a Bourdain connection? Do you think he killed himself? No. no. So, oh, you wanna talk about that? Apparently, you know the how... French police didn't do a full investigation of his death okay. either. So, let me just tell I you about that. this. So, there's a thing. There's a thing about. It, there's symbolism. In these deaths on the doorknobs, there's symbolism. Wait, in it. so Bourdain, Cornell, and and Bennington were all hung, right? They yeah, all hung. They, they all hung themselves. Yes. Oh shit. From doorknobs. And even way, Anthony Bourdain, Anthony Bourdain, is on has said on fucking video because he's an old heroin junkie. I know. He has said if I was going to kill myself. I would fucking do it on heroin. heroin. He has said that. Look it up. And he kills himself by hanging himself. So that's one thing. So the guy who's who's a, a dope junkie who knows right. heroin is the best high of all time. It and really he said, is. if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out on heroin because right. that is the best ever. It is. So why wouldn't he go out on the best ever? He hangs right. himself Okay, so there's another thing. <laughs> I gotta get my car, y'all. That's it. That's and there's another thing. Usually, the thing they hang themselves yeah, with yeah. is red. You know why? Did they, like all three of them, it was red? You know, Tell and me. not just them. Uh, who is the designer woman? Oh, Kate Spade. They were just talking about her. Kate Spade is connected to this. Kate, you guys. Kate you Spade <laughs> hung herself. Listen to this. Oh, shit. Kate Spade hung herself with a red uh, piece of whatever it was right. from a doorknob. Also, the other thing I wanted to say about the uh, doorknob hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually red. Fuck. So red means rat. Really? Okay, so even so, so even check this out. Kate Spade hangs herself with a red piece of clothing, whatever it was. So her, hus uh, her husband, 
which is uh, David Spade's brother, I think. Is that? No, that's not real. Yeah, because Kate Spade I feel like, wasn't she was just... married to David Spade's serious? brother. That's a Spade. Really? The first public pictures of Kate Spade's husband, mm -hmm. he's wearing... No. He's wearing a... And this is not only just... This is like a 1950s or 60s specific... Um, he's wearing a rat's mask like a mask over his head it's a mask like a halloween mask are you fucking kidding me and and it has a red uh necktie like scarf thing his first appearances in public is wearing a rat mask and that rat mask <gasps> that mask is specific to a very exactly with the can red I, is scarf is that copyrighted or can i show them <laughs> here you guys, this is sick fucking shit. Look, that's I'm a, weird. I'm on a fucking street motherfucker. No, yeah, you are. And that's if weird. I'm gonna punk someone out. Well, no, he was told to fucking wear that mask, oh, is what I'm saying. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Because I see, I'm saying. No, he, he, had, he was told to wear that so, mask. Okay. No, that's what I'm saying. He was told to wear that mask out of the house. That's they creepy. gave him that shit. mask. That's so creepy. And that's that so was his, like, that, that idea was like, so creepy. he had to do that or he had to die, I'm sure. But you just have to sit there and be like, Ugh. Hey, you just have to wait <laughs> it out, which is insane. No. No. It which makes is no bullshit. It makes no sense. Hey, oh, <laughs> fuck you, Joe. Boo, I'll do it myself. <laughs> He's walking out on the field, the bat comes, boom, it's in the head. <laughs> you trying to say Jesus Christ can't hit a curveball? Yeah. That's one of my. This is one of the best movies ever. All time done. favorite lines ever. You saying Jesus Christ can't hit a curveball? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, that is the best movie. I had such oh. a thing for Tom Berenger. I was like fucking oh, fourteen, and I'm like Berenger, I will have one, please, sir. And I think I was like, hey, TB, come. <laughs> you just Are you my dad? Are you? <laughs> Dad, does anyone else, Casey, dad. I'm telling you guys, Casey's mustache has its own life. I'm telling <laughs> you, I've imagined this. I've imagined this. That when this man sleeps, the mustache fucking gets up and walks off his face. I've known him pre-mustache, by the way. And I have to say, you know what? I'm a fan of the mustache. I'm never going back. No, don't. No, I feel like it probably keeps your lips warm. I found my calling. Yeah. All right. Are we going to talk aliens? Yeah, let's okay. get into it. All right. Go back to Bob Lazar. Should we just Bob skip Lazar. over that motherfucker? Because I feel like every time we try to start with Bob Lazar, it just goes off the rails. No, just, just go in. All right. But let's just read on Bob right let's now. Let's read on Bob. Okay. We've so, said it. We've we set have. Bob up enough. Let me So move. Bob Lazar supposedly. I'm going to put Joe Boo's rum over on my yes. mantle. Supposedly Bob Lazar worked at Area 51. Right. And reverse engineered all these. Yeah. There's a huge Supposedly, fucking poly. There's a big bug in here. It's on the couch with you. I see it. It's a pterodactyl. Can, no, we, get really do Can we get some help? Can we get some help? We need help. Well, he's off the couch. You guys, every, everyone knows that big flying motherfucker with right. the legs the that you call here. a mosquito hawk. Yeah. Yeah. Do they eat mosquitoes? She, I swear to God, does Santos' Paul, is nurse does researched. Does Paul magically appear with more alcohol? Those are major questions we need to know right now. All right, so let's see. Is Bob Lazar telling the truth? So Bob Lazar said, I worked at Area 51. I re I reverse engineered alien spaceships. Aliens are real. Mm -hmm. I stole a compound, which we can't remember if it's a letter or a number or both. But he stole some fucking alien compound. It's in his house. The motherfucker was raided by the FBI. There is a movie, a documentary out. Um, I, I, it's, it's called on Gaia. Bob, yeah, no, there's. It's on. You can get it on iTunes. Right, but, right, but yeah, yeah. It's on everything. Yeah, yeah, you can get it, and no, it's like it's, there, it's, it's a, worth a watch, you guys. It's even, popping up if you look. Yeah, it's worth a watch because it's it's just bizarre. He's, I mean, Bob. So Bob Lazar. So is Bob Lazar. Bob me, Lazar right? is the first. He's a whistleblower. whistleblower a of whistleblower. no. He's the first whistleblower of Area 51. That's legit. Do you know? Okay, oh, so check this shit out, Bob Casey. Lazar oh is my the God. guy. Bob Lazar, for whatever it's worth, I'm just saying it right now. Bob Lazar is the guy who blew the lid 
on Area 51. So get so this shit. So we're about to read on it right now. Get this shit. So I'm doing the alien deep dive. I told you about this. I don't even remember it because we just talked mm -hmm. about it, but you're pretty drunk. But I'm doing the alien deep dive. I'm fucking, and when I do these fucking things, it's not like this. And it's like anything you've ever seen me do. I get into this fucking mode. They, they've seen it live and I'm just fucking on one. So I go to read on Area 51 and I am told in no uncertain terms, absolutely not. You may, you absolutely cannot read on this. It's dangerous to read on They're this. They're blocking that, it. They, that's what they said. <laughs> that's exactly what they, they, you guys, I'm pointing at you. That's what the patrons said. They were like, they that's fucking, they saying. fucking of have course. psychic well, blocks against you. Well, they were telling you, you just yep. block it. Hey, yep. dude, don't die. Yep. <laughs> I, hey, if I'm hung by a doorknob, you know it ain't, it ain't legit, hey, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, straight up, dude. I was, I tried to read on it. I just wanted to see what was going on. They're and immediately... Blocking, I got a big fat stop mm -hmm. sign and it was, and not only that, but it was like, if you can, if you read on this, it's dangerous to you. Yeah. Well, that's a, and you yeah. can go, we can uh, reverse that back to the remote viewing. Yeah, that's true. The remote viewing research that they were doing. That's what they were doing as well. <gasps> These cards. Oh my God. That's what they were doing as well. Bob Lazar's telling the truth. <gasps> of course. <laughs> I mean, I I'll be, be playing the bass. Casey will stay home yeah. with Santos. That's crazy. Keep in mind, we've drunk a lot. Just FYI. You just got the fluoride removed from your water. Damn, Pam. Good. I need to go to Canada. I would love to, but you know what? I'm not allowed to go. <laughs> you can't get in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I've been paying to go there for a while. Last time I went, they said, this is your last time, pal. Casey's been a very bad boy. Mm. <laughs> Canadians don't like criminals. No, no. Can't blame them. I mean, you're a very charming criminal, though. I feel like that should count for something. Next time you have to write an essay to Canada, let me write it for you, because I will fucking nail it, and they will fucking well, want you to move there. I yeah. Think. They're giving her the the raw deal of it. I mean, they are. I mean, that's women, dude. Don't get me started. Exactly. I'll start talking about pap smears again. I'll do it. No, we're we get the raw deal, dude. You don't even know. No. As a white I male, know. can I tell you, you are I so... I know. F even as a no. felon, I you know. are so lucky. I already know. It's real. I have nothing but a thousand million infinity respect towards every person who calls himself a woman. That's why we love you, I have to, uh, How do we do bathroom breaks around here? Pretend like, you're, pretend like you're doing something else. Okay. Hold Tell on. him you gotta take your mustache Wait. for a walk. I'm gonna go. Up, <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs real quick. I have to check on the uh, alarm systems. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna go upstairs. We're so, girl. Mm -mm. Girl. Girl, please. You are like Netflix for the other side. I know. I. It's weird because I'm not a medium, and I was actually show me is the is there a base on the moon. Um, oh yeah, let's go. I was actually talking to my Botox lady today, um, but right. she, um, you want to get some ass. Botox, Casey? I need a butt cheek treatment. I mean, <laughs> lift them cheeks up, bro. Get them high. Uh -huh. You're 42. Uh, you got to keep uh, them up, man. You got to have a high ass. Don't want them saggy ass cheeks. Can I just say, can I just pause for a moment and tell you, this is a, this is actually something that happens in my house. I've said repeatedly to my husband, do you know how hard it is for a man to have a good ass? Because very rarely, and P.S., this is all coming up because we watch Outlander and Jamie's always showing his ass. Do y'all watch Outlander because it's, it's good? Um, he's always, his ass, this man's ass is fucking perfect. And I'm like, Paul, do you know how hard it is for that man to have a perfect ass? Because men don't naturally, have, like women, like, no, there are uh, women that can have naturally good asses. Paul's texting me about his ass. No, men have to work no, at it. No, Paul is You don't have to fucking work at your ass. Dude, men have to hey, work no. at asses. That's Paul real. Is, Paul is texting me about uh, his ass. He said, hey, have you ever seen the show? This guy has such a good ass. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> he has a great ass. <laughs> and like two loaves of bread. Two perfect uh, loaves of bread. He said... I'll fucking die tomorrow if I can't have another fucking I'm telling you. ass treat. I'm like this. telling you, dude. <laughs> Take care of your asses, man. Oh, let's look at the moon base. Let's look at the moon. Joke. I made a super joke. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Oh, shit. This is weird. 
Oh, <gasps> no, it's gone. There was and it's gone. Check this shit out, you guys. I'm with that. Oh yeah, devil's here. Oh, fuck, this is weird. <gasps> what a weird reading. Okay, so we have the card of the past here. And he's saying silent J's. Hey, uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, she is. She's got yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. Uh, I was trying to keep uh, it chill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cam. Uh. Um, there was something on the moon. It is no longer here. Look at this. Death card. So there was something there. They've either demolished it or... Or they're saying it's not there anymore. Well, no, not just that they're saying it, that they've actually hidden it in some kind of a way. Oh, so yeah. whatever, like <laughs> if there's technology or if they decided, let's put it all underground, they've hidden it in some mm. kind of way. But look I'm at this. With that. But look at this. This is the weird part of this reading. The cards are like, you need to, these are all cards of observation. I mean, you can look in the cards. You can see they're all looking at something. So they're you saying like, they're look. like, keep looking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. They're like, look, you got to look at it. You got to look at it. The truth is it. there. Look. Just look. Oh my God. Are we like Mulder and Scully for the new generation? Um, do you believe the truth is out there? I do. I will. Wow. Like, Julian Anderson is fucking hot. Oh, yeah. She's hot. Oh, yeah. She's, She's a, a hot punker. Now. She was a punker. Was she? Yes. No! Yes. What? And I mean, Quincy Jones, did you read the Quincy Jones? I mean, this is yeah. what, one or two years ago, right? Producer? Oh, yeah. You're fired. <laughs> You're not really fired. You're not paying me. So. I, well, I mean, I could pay you. No, it's true. Quincy Jones came out and said that Sam Giancana killed JFK for a slight that happened between him and Joe Kennedy. He really Quincy is. Jones is already. Did you watch the even fucking before, documentary? Did you watch the documentary? Oh yeah. He's a fucking genius. No, even before the Jacksons. I know. He was done. Right. He could have stopped there. He was done. Agreed. No, this motherfucker is a genius. Yeah. Uh, my my family's property backed up right into the back of Bohemian uh, Grove. Like, there was our house, there was a slice of woods, there was a fire road, on the other side mm -hmm. of the fire road was the downhill yeah. to the Bohemian Grove. And your family has probably had a little uh, <laughs> kickback. No. Be quiet. No, nothing. Never. Really? Never. Never. Uh, well, those motherfuckers don't give a shit. No, because I feel no. like you're pretty Where's the moonshine? Do you want the moonshine, really? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going moonshine. All right, we'll stay. I'm gonna stay on camera for the moonshine. Casey need... needs some ice <laughs> for his balls. I do. Wait, I don't even remember why we were icing someone's balls, but I know we were. I, right. I, you I, want I, Casey? This is gonna fuck you up. Are I, you sure? Yeah, I iced ball, uh, Paul's balls earlier. Oh my god, I can't open it. <laughs> Cameron said I need to ice my balls. Probably. I can't hurt. Okay, you gotta they're, open this. I can't open it. Not too hot right now. I feel like balls would be very annoying. What are you a doctor of? Oh, Constance, he's a gynecologist. Unlicensed. He's also a lawyer. Also unlicensed. <laughs> Shit is insane. I can't believe he's gonna drink this. Look at I gave him a, I gave him a training glass because it's absurdly strong. This is I can't believe you're gonna drink this. Please only vomit in my toilet. I'm just gonna say it one more time. I'm good. Surfer. Casey Wait, probably wasn't a surfer. A what? A surfer. No, I, I searched and stuff, but it wasn't my thing. I mean, you're like vaguely athletic, right? Like. Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah. I was into uh, to sports and skateboarding and surfing too. <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> when did the music that. come in? From um, pretty much as early as I Oh my God, I can smell that moonshine. Are you just, really gonna drink that? No, from as early as I remember. It was like Beastie Boys licensed to it. Oh, so good. Appetite for Destruction around the same time. Just, oh, uh, so good. Figuring it out. So you just, that's yeah. how you learned how to play the bass. You just listened and played. Yeah. Yeah, everybody, yes, no, on. they all want to see you naked, Casey. All these bitches fucking love you. I say bitches affectionately, sorry. <laughs> Is this an affectionate term? Straight up. When did you get your first tattoo? I was like 15 or 16. Are you serious? Yeah.
Was it like jailhouse tattoo? Was it no, like, it was the homie like it had some shit. Ink and spit? Pretty much, yeah, it was, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You want to know what These, my first they tattoo? Love it. <laughs> you want to see, do you guys want to see my first tattoo? Yes, yes. It, it's right here. <laughs> there's, honey, there's nothing there. What are we doing? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an undershirt. <laughs> what was it? It was like the, it was a theater face mama. Oh, and dude, that's good juju. Oh, it was. Oh, that's good it was a. I, it looked like Beavis and Butthead. Hmm. I mean, it that's was not too bad. Juju. That's good juju. So, good juju. so what? Uh, what inspired the black arm? Um. Was this a whim? Was this a Gemini whim? Kind of. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, no shade to anybody that's uh, out there that's like, I have restless legs, but I will say this: like, I feel like they're made up diseases now. <laughs> that they're like, you need a pill for this. You need a pill for that. You well, need a pill for this. That's what they're doing. They are, dude. They pee on what? <laughs> me. They wanted me to pee on me. I they know. were like, piss I yourself. I know. That's what I'm like. My mind is like no, straight was up exploding no, out of my head. No right warning. No nothing. We need an x-ray. And then they're like, okay, now pee. And I'm like, what? So I couldn't pee. I could not piss myself for the life of me. Yeah. And I had to go really bad. And they kept saying, like, just piss yourself, just piss yourself. I'm like, I can't. Like, I, I've i been potty trained. Do you realize, like, I feel like I'm an adult? Uh, like, I've been no. potty trained for 22 years. Like, there's, it's, like, there's a line you cross and you pee your pants. There's a line. There's yeah. a line, You're dude. Like, okay, I'm beating my pants. Right. <laughs> we have to go. We've been on for too long. Let's say goodbye. We have to say goodbye. It's late. Right. It's late. He's I'm had with it you. And you're fucked up. Okay. We're going. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Was it fun? <laughs> I'm like, was it fun? Because I don't know. I, I had fun. I hope so. You should start a Patreon for your mustache. Let's do it. Just with a, just a picture of the mustache. I'll fucking, I'll do $5 a month, bro. Let's do it. I'll fucking do it, man. I'll pay $5 a month. <laughs> don't pay yourself $5. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. Good night, you guys. Thank you so much hey, for being with us. Love you guys. At Lunatic Dolphin on Instagram. She's goat. the best. I am the best. Of all time. I'm the fucking goat. <laughs> G-O. I am the goat. A-T. Do you want to see a magic trick? Wait, do you know one? Is, I do. Are you going to do the finger thumb thing? I know this thing. Do it. <laughs> yeah, do it, Casey. Rip it right off. Whoa. 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 Whoa, hold on. Should I do it again? It kind of hurt. This is patron privilege right here, you guys. That's some Illuminati Ali, shit. Ali Baba and the 40 Thieves. <laughs> Ali Baba and the 40 oh Thieves. <laughs> To view this video in its entirety, you want to head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the box. You are looking at the link also on the screen. You want to uh, get on that $10 tier and you can see the entire uncut four-hour shit show. And I'll tell you what else. Uh, Casey and I, the next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some ghost hunting. So stay tuned for that. Excuse my allergy-ridden nose. I know I sound terrible. And um, I'll see you on Patreon. Thanks, guys. Does anyone know about Michael Robinson? And a great big thank you to our gems, our main sponsor. You rule our gems!